welcome back to my channel. We have a very exciting weekend this weekend. We are going to Kilgore, Texas. If you don't know where that is, that is super far east Texas, like six hours away from San Antonio. And why might we be going this far, you may ask? My sister is a member of the world famous Kilgore Rangerettes uh, on the 81st line. And this weekend is their Rebels, which for them is their huge, huge performance that they have every spring. Opening weekend was last weekend, but I couldn't go. I'm super freaking excited to see her. I don't get to see my sister very much, let alone get to see her perform. See this performance that everybody is speaking so highly of. It's supposed to be like super freaking amazing. That is what we're doing, but first things first, we need some snacks, we need some coffee, and my dad is coming with me, so I need to go pick up my dad. So let's go do all those things now. First things first, of course I need my Starbucks. It's about 9 a.m., so it's a little late for me when I normally get my coffee. Um, ironically enough, my dad actually told me to be at the house at 8 a.m., and I was, and he was in the shower. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go get coffee if you want anything, so here I am on a coffee run while my dad finishes packing because he was not ready but we have my Starbucks app locked loaded and ready hello there here we go how are you doing today good how are you doing pretty good it's a nice day pretty day yeah it's starting to warm up a little bit a little bit yeah it's chilly this morning it's very tight very awesome. hot there thank you <laughs> Thank you, my complicated order. I appreciate it. Thanks, you too. So I do normally wear my seatbelt in the drive through Don't judge me. I was trying to set up my whole rig here and my leather jacket that I was wearing was so freaking tight that I couldn't like place this thing. So I took it off and took off my seatbelt, but I wasn't moving so I didn't put it back on. But anyways, um, today's order. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think they got it right. So grande cold brew, vanilla sweet cream, cold foam with strawberry puree, two pumps of mocha and two pumps of vanilla. Last time I got it, the foam was way pinker. Oh, they put the puree in it. Okay, it's like in, in, in it. Still delicious. So I just stopped at Walmart specifically because, um, as you guys may know, my go-to road trip snack is Takis. Anytime I'm in the car for longer than an hour, I grab Takis. I don't care if I'm going to Houston, Fort Worth, Kilgore. If I'm on a plane, Takis are my travel snack. But somebody asked me if I ever, ever tried the blue Takis, and apparently you can only get them at Walmart. I don't know, somebody told me that, but I've definitely never seen them at the gas station. So I got the blue Takis. I, yes, I got both because I don't know if these taste different, and I don't, I mean, if I don't like these and I didn't get my normal Takis, I'm gonna be really sad. So I just got both, because I mean like, let's just say I do like these, I can eat these on the way to Kilgore and then I'll already have my bag for on the way back from Kilgore, so it's great. Um, so we're gonna try the Blue Takis today. Obviously not with my coffee, but when I'm done with my coffee, we'll try the Blue Takis. Um, but now that we have our snacks, now that we have our coffee, it's time to go pick up my father. I'm just dying at the fact that it is officially nine o'clock on the dot, and he told me to be here an hour ago and I don't even know if he's gonna be ready right now when I pull up. He's normally super punctual, which is why I didn't get all of this on the way here at first, because I realized it was gonna put me here after eight o'clock and I didn't want him to get upset. And then I get here and he wasn't ready. So I was like, oh, I should have just, I should have just stopped and done this beforehand, but it's fine, it's great, it's whatever. Um, I'm very excited for you guys to meet Dad. He is not a big camera guy, so we'll see if he even allows <laughs> allows me to film him. Maybe, but let's meet Dad. So Dad was finally ready, and we managed to start our road trip to Kilgore. Six hours in a car. Let's do this. Look at how cute he is. Of course, everything was smooth sailing until we got to about Austin, where you always hit traffic. By the way, the blue Takis, total hit. They were so freaking good. As with any good road trip, obviously we had to stop at Bucky's, Texas Stable. Dad was not messing around though. He really wanted his pulled pork sandwiches. Bucky's and Temple. 
It's literally so packed. Dad almost had to fight somebody to get a, uh, a gas pump and uh, his pulled pork sandwich, which is the whole reason that we stopped here. So, um, Texas State. All right, we got the goods. We're back on the road. We're about halfway to Kilgore, so three more hours to go. I tried to go to the bathroom, but there was no way. That line was actually like back to the front door, which is just ridiculous. So three more hours till I can pay. So that's fine. The video. <laughs> if you don't know, these are the best sandwiches if you're on a road trip. So Bucky's pulled pork sandwich, 10 out of 10, would recommend. <laughs> driving non-stop we finally made it to Kilgore and took a very much needed nap see you guys in a minute tacos <laughs> grandma came in with the good stuff <laughs> I got the goods oh my gosh <laughs> much needed nap it's time to do your hair do your makeup and let's go to Rebels okay so I have my flowers I have my grandma say hi grandma hi. <laughs> and we officially made it to Kilgore College we are ready for Rebels we took a quick nap had some tacos redid my makeup that hotel lighting is trash <laughs> so my makeup oh my might God. also be trash Woo! So if you've never heard of the Rangerettes, I definitely recommend you look them up. They were founded in 1940 by Gussie Nell Davis and are known for being absolutely incredibly uniformed and consistent in not only their dances, but their appearances. They're like the college version of the Rockettes. Truly incredible and seeing their practice gym and all of the years and years of legendary dancers I felt pretty overwhelmed. But after checking out the Ranger at Practice Gym and buying some merch, it was time for Rebels. So we got seated and we're ready to have our minds blown. So here's a little snippet of what we saw.
after the show was finally over, I got to see my sister for the first time in like months. So needless to say, we were all really freaking excited to be reunited. Oh, look at her. It was a little after midnight. We had some more Taco Bell just because it's the only thing that was open. Um, but let's just be honest, Taco Bell, always a hit. I wish I could say I went to bed, but I logged online to check out what was due for school and worked on some homework before passing out. up and ready to go. We're gonna go to breakfast and then we have to take Bella back to her dorm. So just a really quick bye bye breakfast trip. And grandma's ready to like get going. I'm ready. Mask and everything. Oh glasses. We decided to stop and have breakfast at Cracker Barrel. Let's just be honest, they have some of the very best breakfast, especially when you're traveling in a large group but the wait times are less than ideal, so Dad and I rushed there before everybody else to get our name on the wait list. Bella. Oh, that's cute. Bella, you want yeah. me to get this for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a llama. Or, sorry. And the power was gonna go out. Candy straws. I want the <laughs> Awesome. The so unicorn horn. We hit the road another six hours to go. Uh, Dad and I, however, decided it was time for a little road trip break. So obviously we stopped at Dairy Queen and got ourselves a blizzard. All in all, the road trip wasn't too bad. We made it home in about six and a half hours to see my fur baby. Potato. <gasps> Mr. Potato oh, Head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! Are you so happy? Dude, you're home! George! Once I finally made it home, had my dog, I lit a candle, made myself some dinner, and poured a glass of wine, just wanting to relax after that six hour car ride. Needless to say, my dad and I hit a few speed bumps along the way, which made it a little bit more stressful than it needed to, and I didn't have any need to make a real dinner, so in a bag, pasta it is. But hey, don't knock until you try it, right? So I'm finally back home with my dog. I have a glass of wine and I wish I could say it's time to relax, but I have two papers due tonight and I need to clean this apartment a little bit. So not quite time to relax, but it does feel good to be home. Um, that 12 hours in a car over the course of two days can be kind of exhausting. But anyways, it was a great weekend. Revels was absolutely incredible. Probably the best performance that I've seen like ever. Like my sister said it would be good, but 
she's my sister, so of course I have to be like, yeah, sure it is. You know, you know how that sisterly thing goes. But it actually was freaking amazing. Probably one of the best dance performances I've personally ever seen, um, without a doubt. So anyways, I'm gonna go work on my papers now. Wish me luck, cheers. Again, thank you guys so much for watching my little weekend in Kilgore with my family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so happy to have my little floofy home and we are going to get resettled. He's very excited to be home. I'm gonna work on my papers, drink my wine. I wish I could say I was gonna do anything else, but I'm just gonna work on some homework now. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, love you, bye. Why are you barking so much? Do you want your toys? Okay.